Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. Hey, Shalom Israel, Captain OC. Officer Tobias. And we're here with another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captains. Today's topic is assimilation, our story of captivity. We're going to go into the difference between being assimilated into a culture and being integrated into a culture. A lot of people believe that here in America we were integrated, but that was never the case. We were only assimilated. Let's get into that definition, assimilation. Assimilation. In anthropology and sociology, the process whereby individuals or groups of differing ethnic heritage are, are absorbed into the dominant culture of a society. So this says is when one culture is absorbed into the dominant culture. So whatever culture we have, it got absorbed into the white man's culture. So we lost your own culture. That's the difference when you're assimilated as, a, as a opposed to being um, integrated. You lose your own culture. Keep reading. The process of assimilating involves taking on the traits of the dominant culture. Mm, it says taking on the traits of the dominant culture. So you wonder, why do our women blind their hair? Right. Why do our men become homosexuals? Why do we hate the color of our skin? It's because we're assimilated. Keep reading. To such a degree that the assimilating group becomes socially indistinguishable from other members of the, of the soci society. Mm -hmm. As such, assimilation is the most extreme form of acculturation although assimilation may be compelled through force it says it may be compelled compelled through force that's how we started off here in america what when we got off the slave ships they took our name right they took our race they took our language they took all those things it, we were assimilated through force read or undertaken voluntarily or undertaken voluntarily that's to the point where we're at now what when we listen to their music we eat their foods right. we want to dress like them look like them at the years of being forced. Read. It is rare for a minority group to replace its previous cultural practices completely. Mm. Religion, food, preferences, pro prox proximics, mm -hmm. the physical distance between people in a given social situation, mm -hmm. and aesthetics are among the characteristics that tend to be most resistant to change. So it says the things that are taken, it says... It's very rare for the group to get its cultural practices back. Right. So we wonder, why do we worship a white God? Why do we celebrate uh, a white man coming down the chimney? Right. It's because we have been assimilated. We were never integrated into this culture. Now, let's get what integration is. Let's read that definition real quick, and then we're going to get into it. All right, read that. The action or process of combining two or more things in an in an effective way. So it's when you combine two things in an effective way. As we see here in America with social unrest year right. after year, week after week, shootings day after day, we would never combine into this culture in an effective way. Why? Because they took who we were as a people. Right. So we could never effectively integrate in a society in which we were took and everything was taken from us. But let's prove it out of the Bible. We're going to prove to you that we never integrated into American society. Why? Because to integrate, you have to have some sort of culture. Right. Let's show you how our culture was taken. First, they took our race. Second Maccabees 6 and verse 6. We're going to show you that. For, for a culture to integrate, you must know who you are. Right. They took that from us. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 6. Uh-huh. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days uh -huh. or ancient feasts uh -huh. or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Or what? Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So the first thing is that we were never allowed to profess our true heritage as a people. We could not say that we are the Israelites. Even today, when you claim you're an Israelite, what? They label you what? A black Hebrew Israelite. Right. They label you something other than what you're telling them you are. So you can't be integrated when you are not allowed to profess your true culture. Let's get religion. Let's show you how they took our religion. Deuteronomy 28 in verse 64. They took your religion for you. What? They gave you a white man. They gave you a rock. They gave you a stone, seven-day Adventist, Baptist, uh, Pentecostal, so on and so forth. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth 
even unto the other. We were going to be scattered in different lands. And what would happen when we got there? And there. And there in America. Thou shalt serve other gods. We would what? Serve other gods. You see that? It was a curse that we were going to serve other gods. That when we got here, we would be assimilated into worshiping gods that don't look like us. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Uh -huh. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. Those would be our gods in the lands of our captivities. Showing you once again, we will be assimilated in religion. Let's get our culture. Jeremiah 17 and 4. We're going to show you your culture in whole right. was taken from you. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue. Shall what? Shall discontinue. Meaning stop. Read. From thine heritage that I gave thee. We were going to stop the heritage that God gave us. Remember, in order for you to integrate, you have to bring something to the table. Right. We could not do that. Why? Because all of our all of our knowledge of self was beaten out of us. Now, one of the most important things, language. Language. When you think about being integrated, people accept you, that you you dress the way you want to. You speak in your native tongue. When right. you see the Chinese man, they in the back of the, the shop, they, they speak. all speak in the same language. Right. When you see uh, true Africans, they speak this their true language. You have something on that? No. But no. when you see these other other nations that were truly integrated, right. they still speak their language. Let's see what happened to us. Read that. The book of Daniel, chapter 1 and verse 4. Uh-huh. Children in whom was no blemish, uh -huh. but well favored and skillful in all wisdom. And skillful in all wisdom. This is when we were taken into Babylon. Read. And cunning in knowledge and understanding science. Uh-huh. And such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace. Read. And of whom... Thy, they might teach the learning of the tongue of the Chaldeans. They teach the what? Teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. The tongue of the Chaldeans. Remember, the title of the class is Assimilation, Our Story of Captivity. When we were taken into Babylon, what did they do? They taught us the language of the Chaldeans. Right. Wherever we are taken, we lose our own language, and we learn the language of our oppressors. That's what happens. Let's prove it again. Go to Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. Read that. The book of Acts chapter 2, verse 5. Uh -huh. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Why? Because in Deuteronomy 28, 64, we were scattered to every nation. Now, our native tongue was Hebrew. Now, let's see what happened. Read. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together uh -huh. and were confounded because that every man heard, heard them speak. In his own language. Every man heard him speak in his own language, meaning in the land of the different captivities that were scattered to, they only knew that language. Right. That's why I was amazed. It's like, hold on. I was scattered in Greece. How do you speak in Greece? I was scattered in Pontus. I was scattered in Mesopotamia. I was scattered in Cappadocia. I was scattered in Egypt. Right. But they learned the language of their oppressors in every land in which they were scattered, showing you what? They were assimilated back then as well. Last one for that, proving that our language was taken. Ne Nehemiah 13 and verse 23. Read that. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 13, verse 23. Uh -huh. In those days also saw I Jews uh -huh. that had married wives of Ashdod. Interracial marriage. Read. And Amon and of Moab. Mm -hmm. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod. They spoke what? Half in the speech of Ashdod. Read. And could not speak in the Jews' language. And they what? Could not speak in the Jews' language. When you become assimilated, you cannot speak your own language. That is why they push all these other philosophies and doctrines on our people. That's why they want us to be uh, um, interracially married. Because you lose your own culture. Not that we even have any culture. Right. But if you start to pick up this book and remember who you are, it's too late for you. Because now you have been taking on another man's culture and heritage. Last one, food. Even down to the food we have been assimilated. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread uh -huh. among the Gentiles. So now we eat defiled bread. What? Now we eat pig willingly. We eat uh, pork, bacon, shrimp, crab, lobster, all these different things. Proof that what? That now we have been assimilated. These things were counted of as dung. Right. Now, shrimp is a delicacy. Correct. Now, lobster is a delicacy. Right. Those are signs that you have been assimilated into this man's culture. So, what is the solution? What is the solution 
for us to get out of the mindset of being assimilated here in America. Uh, oh, wait, no, 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 no. We don't want to go there yet. We don't want to go there yet. Further proof that we were assimilated. Psalms 106 in verse 34. Psalms, Psalms chapter, chapter 106. 106. Yep, read that. The book of Psalms chapter 106, verse 34. Uh-huh. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them. Uh-huh. But were mingled among the heathen. But were what? Were mingled among the heathen. Read. And learned their words. And what did they do? And learned their words. Remember what we said when we read that definition. You would take on the culture of what? The dominant culture. Right. We learned their works. Read. And served their idols. Uh-huh. Which were a snare unto them. That's the key part. These things are a snare unto us. First Maccabees chapter 1 and verse 11. We're going to further. Now, it's funny. We call it assimilation now, but the, the word that they give it in historical terms is Hellenization. Right. The Helen, when you get Hellenized, you took on the culture of the Grecians. That's what happened here in America, but now they call it assimilation. Same thing. Read that. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 11. Uh -huh. In those days went there out Israel, wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. Let us what? Go and make a covenant with the heathen. Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. Read. That are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. Uh -huh. So this device pleased them well. Uh -huh. Then certain of the people were so forth herein that they went to the king, who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Read. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem, according to the customs of the heathen. So we took on the dominant culture, which is a traits of what? Not integration, but assimilation. Right. Uh, Acts 16 and 1. So not only did that hope happen during the time of the Maccabees, it happened during the New Testament as well. Read that. The book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 1. Uh -huh. Then came he to Derby and Lystra. Lystra, uh -huh. and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timotheus, uh -huh. the son of a certain woman, which was a Jewess, uh -huh. and believed, but his father was a Greek. But what? But his father was a Greek. But his father was a Greek. Now, did that mean that he was of the other nations? No. That means he relished in the culture of the Grecians. Right. So, Isaiah 8 and 9. So, before we get into the solutions, we're going to show you what's going to happen to us if we do not depart from the ways of the other nations. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 9. Uh -huh. Associate yourselves, O ye people, uh -huh. and ye shall be broken in pieces. The Bible says associate yourselves, meaning accept being assimilated in what? And ye shall be broken in pieces. God says you will be broken in pieces by assimilating into American culture. So what's the solution? 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 17. What is the solution of our captivity of being uh, assimilated, or as they say, Hellenized here in America? Read. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 17. Uh-huh. Where, wherefore, come out from among them, uh -huh. and be ye separate. The Bible says, come out from among them, and be separate. Read. Saith the Lord, uh -huh. and touch not the unclean thing. And do what? And touch not the unclean God thing. God says, don't touch the unclean thing. Don't touch the Christmas. Don't touch the Thanksgiving. Right. Don't touch the Super Bowl. Don't touch the Sabbath day sports. Don't touch the things that defile your soul and spirit here in America. From there, Micah 2 and 10. The book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. Uh -huh. Arise ye and depart. Arise ye and depart. Read. For this is not your rest. The Bible says that this is not our rest. Read. Because it is polluted, uh -huh. it shall destroy you. It what? It shall destroy you. Read. Even with the sword destruction. So as long as we continue in the ways of Babylon, America, it will lead to a path of destruction. Last scripture, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. Do what? Come out of her, my people. Read. That ye, may, that ye be not partakers of her sins. Uh -huh. And that ye receive not of her plague. So we must come out of America spiritually. And then we will not receive of her plagues. As long as we continue in the ways and doctrines and philosophies of America, destruction is the only thing that's awaiting for you so we pray that you got the understanding of how we were assimilated here in america and throughout the lands of our captivities with that we say shalom
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.